We're turning now to our top story, an emotional reunion between two survivors of that Highland Park shooting. WGN's Kelly Davis is live in Highland Park with that story. Kelly. Hi, Ben and Jackie. Andy Alcorn helped dozens of people to safety during that horrific mass shooting here in Highland Park at the 4th of July parade. But he says one eight year old girl also helped him. Today, the two were reunited for the first time since that shooting. Hello. <laughs> Once strangers, now lifelong friends. Oh, sweetie, how are you? Oh, I've been thinking about you so much. <laughs> Andy Alcorn is reunited with eight-year-old Mia Jamato after a horrific tragedy brought the two together. These innocent people were all over the place, and they're just running and just confusion, screaming, crying. On the 4th of July, Alcorn rode his bike 25 miles from Grays Lake to Highland Park and stopped to watch the parade. Ten minutes in, he heard gunfire. Immediately, he just sat there and said, that's life fire. Everybody get out of here, right? And everybody starts rushing towards me. The Army vet says his military training kicked in and he jumped into action. He escorted people down the side of a building and into an alley towards safety. I just immediately just said, I gotta, I've got to make sure these people get out of harm's way. You know, that's just what, you know, you do. In the aftermath of it all, he stumbled upon an eight-year-old girl who was visibly upset. I believe she was hyperventilating at the time, so he talked her out of it. She helped me with breathing exercises, like you breathe in with your nose and then you breathe out with your mouth. And that made you feel better? Yes. Mia Jamato was marching in the parade when gunfire erupted. Such a brave girl. Fortunately, she wasn't hurt and had Alcorn there to keep her safe. And he was so attentive to everything going around. He was still making sure everyone was okay. I don't know how one person could do all that, but he did it. These two share an unbreakable bond as they cling to the hope they found during such a dark time. And this is never going to go away, but that one little girl She's stuck in my mind. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride and she'll never leave my memory. Alcorn says he has not been able to get back on his bike since the 4th of July. He is supposed to ride Rag Bri through the state of Iowa in a couple weeks. He thought twice about it, but said after today's reunion, he is re-motivated to do so, and he plans to dedicate his ride to Mia and the other survivors of that shooting. Live in Highland Park, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.